Hey everybody, welcome back to Island in the Box. It's your girl Nicole. Today I'm going to be preparing for my nephew's birthday party. I'm so grateful to have family support my business. I don't care how big or how small. Them coming together and supporting me and my endeavors is truly a blessing and as well as their niece. So I'm making the barbecue chicken and the uh, baked mac and cheese and my daughter is absolutely going to be doing some delicious mini strawberry cheesecakes as well as the cupcakes. You can check out her page at Anila's Sweet Treats to see what she's created for her cousin's B-Day. So as you can see I added my Old Bay Bolian garlic dry thyme. I added some black pepper and I used some Goya unsalted all-purpose. I'm also using my favorite barbecue sauce, Sweet Baby Ray. This is one of my favorite barbecue sauce, but you can use any of your choice. I'm gonna also be incorporating just a little bit of some hot sauce and honey. Okay, so mix that all in. You can see my honey here. I'm gonna incorporate that as well. Um, and I'm going to also use a little bit of some hot pepper here. <laughs> Not too much because I usually like my barbecue spicy, but because this is for my nephew's birthday, I don't want to overdo it. I want it to be able uh, for him to enjoy it. All right, so you can see here I'm mixing that all in. Okay, chopping up some onion, um, I'm sorry, some carrots here. If you are seeking a caterer in the Massachusetts area, go ahead and check me out on YouTube at Island in the Box Catering and as well as on the gram for some information there. I also, you can link me up in my Gmail at islandfood876 at gmail.com, all right? So you see I'm using some onions, I use some carrots, I'm using some sweet peppers here. Just gonna chop those in big chunks. I don't want them to get lost in this order right here, so I'm just gonna chop them up. No fancy way, just get them in there. Chop them the best way or however you choose. Any style is your style, you feel me? All right, you guys know, if you haven't checked out my other recipes, go ahead and check them out. Try them out and tag me. I would love to see what you guys uh, recreate when it comes to these recipes and let me know how they taste. All right, I'm going to also add some uh, potatoes to it. I love potatoes in my baked uh, barbecue chicken. And it was also a request. So I have to go with the customer. <laughs> Customers are first and always right when it comes to what they want, right? All right, so you can see here I chopped those up. Those are all done. I'm just going to mix this all in properly and make sure I have everything well marinated. And like I said, I'm going to put this in the oven. All right, if you haven't followed me on my YouTube channel at Island in the Box Catering, go ahead and do so. Like, share, and subscribe and also on the gram add some more weight to the channel you feel me all right so i just added some more barbecue sauce i just want to make sure that it's well incorporated and it's flavorful this is i want to do that i'm just going to place it into a baking tray and i'm going to i was going to use my hand but i changed my mind so i just want to make sure i get out every bit of this goodness so i'm going to scrape everything out I want to get all of it all coming away. It's nothing wrong here. Too grateful to waste anything wrong here. You feel me? Mm hmm. All right. So you can see my off everything right there. So, and then what I'm going to do once I spread this out and let this marinate, I'm going to use foil paper and add some butter to this pot as well. Going to add some butter about, um, about a tablespoon and a half. If it's a smaller tray, I probably just use like a tablespoon of butter, not too much. And then I'm going to cover it with some foil paper. Um, make sure you cover it well so it gets a proper steam. Oh, let's add one more thing, some fresh thyme. <laughs> I did add some dry thyme, but the fresh thyme, I just like to lay it right on top to get that aroma and everything well incorporated. So I have my mac and cheese um, water already boiling. I season the water with some, I put some olive oil in there to prevent the pasta from sticking together. And I also added some bouillon to the water to flavor it. All right, so you can see it's all drained, all dried out. Just stirring it up to make sure that nothing is sticking to the bottom of the pot. Turn off my stove. And I'm going to add some heavy cream to this mac and cheese here. I'm gonna also use some classical uh, creamy Alfredo. I love to add this flavor to my mac and cheese. It just gives it an extra creamy taste that I like and I think you guys should try this at home. 
Um, this brand is my favorite brand, just my opinion. It tastes really good to me. All right, so I'm gonna make sure I get everything out of those jars. Can you see how much left in the jar? We know we have nothing around here. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna add some more bouillon to this. So I'm going to all purpose unsalted, all right, and I'm gonna add some parsley to this mac and cheese as well. All right, and just gonna make sure I fold that all in because I wanna make sure everything is well incorporated. And then this is just one step to uh, prepping my mac and cheese. I'm gonna bake this for at least another 10, 15 minutes till it's completely melted because it's gonna be really thick, very thick. All right, so I'm gonna get my pot over here off the stove. That's just one layer of how I do my mac and cheese. So what I'm gonna do is layer uh, one at a time. This mac and cheese here, I'm gonna throw some out. And you can use any cheese of your choice. I have some sharp cheddar and I also have some Parmesan and I have this last bit of mozzarella. So I said, let me just use it and just get it out of the way. That's the last of that. And I'm gonna use my Mexican mixed cheese as well. And I'm gonna spread that around and make sure that every corner is covered with cheese and every macaroni is covered, not nah, left out. So I'm gonna use my Parmesan and I'm gonna grate this right over on the top and every area, like I said, no corner on the left. Every crevice and corner is covered and then you're gonna keep repeating this. All right, keep repeating it until your pot is empty. I like to put, I, I love palm, I love dry parsley in my mac and cheese and so on and so forth. Okay, you see, I'm just layering this and I'm just repeating the cycle again until it's complete. Spread it around. Now again, if you are seeking a caterer in the Massachusetts area, you can hit me up at Island Island Food 876 at Gmail. All right, see it there? Mac and cheese is well layered. Now this is very heavy. I'm gonna put that in the oven. Once it's done, that's how it looks. And this is how the barbecue chicken look. And there you have it. We came together and family, other family members brought food, jerk pork, my sister made the lasagna. They got a mac and cheese. Everybody's doing their thing. And there you have it. Look at the table. My sister did a great job at decorating and there go my baby girl's cupcakes and cheesecakes. Thank you for joining and have a good day. Bye.